So uh, um, my son, it was been about a month ago, man. Um, he is you no, know, you know, he knew a little something about the video I had done and stuff. He was sort of talking about it, and he was like, you know, ask a, a few questions and stuff. So we sit down and we watch Django, and um, I watched, you know, I let him watch most of it. You know, what I'm saying I cut a few things out, but um, I mean, here's my point, man. Hate is taught. I'm gonna tell you, man. This is a seven year old little boy, right? And uh, he about seven and a half. And uh, the funny thing is, that's about how old I was when I when I saw Roots with my father and shit, man, back in the day in 77, I think. Anyway, um, so we're watching it, man, and right to start with, he's like, his mouth drops open. Like, he's like, why are they doing that? Dad, why are they doing that to them? Why are they doing that to the black people? What did they, Dad, what did they do wrong? Dad, they must have did something wrong. They had to have done something wrong. Dad, what did they do wrong? I said, well, honestly, I guess the only thing they really did wrong was um, the color of their skin was dark and not, not light, not white. Right? And his look on his face was like, so we're watching the movie, man. We ain't got in the movie very long at all, man. He looks at me and says, Dad, now check this out, man. What do you say to this? Dad. I don't want to be white no more. We're not white. We're not white, Dad. I don't want to be white. And I'm like, but baby, I said, look, little man. I said, look, book man. I said, I mean, we're white. But that don't mean we got to be evil or mean like that. We could be good white people, you know. I said, look at the dude that Django's hooking up with, you know what I mean? He's not a bad dude. He said, no, Dad, I don't care. He said, I don't want to be white. I don't want to be nothing like them. I don't want to be nothing like white people. I don't want to be mean and evil. I don't want to be like them. I'm not them. We're not them, Dad. We're not white. I'm like, yeah, but yeah, we are. I said, but you know, we, we're, we, we're going to set an example about how, you know, all white people aren't like that. You know, there's some good white people out there. He looked at me and said, no, nah, man, I'm not having it. He said, I'm not being, he said, I'm not white. I said, well, Jaden, I mean... I mean, we're not we're not Mexican, we're not Hispanic. I mean, we're not we're not black. We're not or we're not um Asian. I should say Asian. Um, what are we then? And he said, Dad, we're gray. And I busted out laughing. I said, <laughs> I said, God damn, down here, man, I reckon we are about gray, we're like aliens, gray aliens, in my because that's about how goddamn um different we are. You know what I'm saying? But I said, yeah, I can, I can ride with that. We're, we're gray. We'll be gray. So he's watching the movie, man. He's seen. He's like, you know, he's seen him working for free, man. They, they, they busting their ass, and, and he's like, why? And I'm like, I keep telling him, really and truly, man, just for the because of their skin color, man. That's pretty much it, man. That's basically the size of it. And then um, they go into Candyland, right? And they pull up. They're coming up into Candyland. He sees the big ass house, and he knows. He knows like um. I mean, he knows rich people. He sees rich people. He knows we ain't rich. You feel me? I mean, just the other day we were sitting in the parking lot. <laughs> and uh, he said, Dad, who do you think's got the crappiest car in this whole parking lot, food line? Like, the most crappiest car. He didn't say shittiest car. He might have said shittiest because I'd be letting him get away with that shit with just me and him, you know, just me and him kicking it. You know, he can get away with that. And I said, I don't know. I'm looking around, I'm looking around. I said, well... And we both said probably ours at the same time. <laughs> but anyway, he knows about poverty. You know what I'm saying? And he knows about rich people and rich white people. And he looks at me with a serious look in his face. He said, so, Dad, that's how they done it. That's how they done it. And I'm like, what? He said, white people, rich white people, that's how they got all their money. They got rich and got all their money by making black people work for free and not paying them. Because he understands people are supposed to get paid a check at the end of the week. You know what I'm saying? That's how we do things now. He said, by not paying them their money and keeping it, they got filthy, well, they got real rich. He didn't say filthy rich. He said, they got real rich. He said, that, so that's how they done it? I said, yeah, that's how they done it, man. That's exactly how they done it. And then, you know, the movies move on. We're watching stuff, man, and... um. He uh he had got a gun earlier that day. I think it was um his mom man. It went I mean with him they went to food um 
I mean, Dollar General, a little, or maybe Walmart, I don't know. But got a little old cheap ass, a little old toy gun. You know, I think it was a little bolt action motherfucking thing. You know, he wanted it. Fuck it, she, we got it. Because uh, we don't get, I mean, you know what I'm saying? We ain't got a whole lot. So she got it for him and shit. And uh, which I ain't crazy about him getting guns like that. I really ain't. But, you know, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Um, so anyway, he, he says, um, he just takes off. I'm like, damn, where's he going? And he comes back and he's toting that gun. He says, you know why I told mom to get me this gun today, don't you? And I'm like, no, why? He said, because. I said, because why? He said, I told mom to get this gun. I said, he said, because I got to protect black people. I got to protect them from the evil, mean white people. I got to protect the black people from the mean white people. I'm going to protect them, dad. So that they don't beat on them and do them like they did them in this motherfucking movie. And make them work for free and treat them like shit. You know? I'm gray, dad. I'm not white. I'm gray. I'm going to protect them with this gun right here. I mean, I ain't never been so proud of my kid. That's seven-year-old, right? Seven-and-a-half-year-old. You know? I mean, unless that kid is, is made or indoctrinated into, trying to, into hating, it's not in them, dude. It's not in them naturally. It's just not in them, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just not in them, man. And I know one thing, um, that hate shit, because to me, if, if God is love, the opposite of love is hate. So hate must be the Antichrist, the Anti-God, right? Um, that hate shit, for no reason, that shit stops in my house. Man, my son, he'll probably be less, I mean, he'll probably be, man, he'll probably be, I mean, I, I mean, I can't get no less, less, less hate in my heart. <laughs> I can't get no less, but he'd probably be more than that. He's going to do a lot. Anyway, um, I can just see in his eyes, man, uh, that shit fuck with him. And, um, it fuck with him hard. And, uh, and I don't see why, I mean, I, I guess most kids it would, man. But, uh, you know, I don't know if parents let the kids see that at, at an age like that and really talk to them and say it's okay to hate that white man that's doing that evil or being mean. You know what I'm saying? We got to protect those black people, man. The African-American. We got to protect them from this evil, mean motherfucker, man. You know? And he understands that already at age seven. He's ready. He's ready. You know? And um, I'm proud of him for that. I just want to kick that to y'all. Um, yeah, really. And uh, about my experience, man, with Roots and shit, man. My dad, man, he, he, he had me watch Roots when I was seven years old, right? And um, it was it was it, it made a profound it, it was one of the most profound things I ever experienced. Cause I had black friends at school, you know, and at our school, man, it was like don't don't talk about it, don't talk about it. You know, a lot of kids, a lot of parents, especially white parents, kids my age, maybe a little, little older, you know, seven, eight, nine, whatever, weren't allowed to see it, weren't allowed to watch it, man, right? Because I don't know, you know, they said that the white white kids, you know, might feel some type of way. Yeah, they might, god damn it. They might see what the fuck's really up, you know? And they didn't want to see that shit. So we weren't supposed to talk about it. You know, my black friends, they're going to see it. So I had, you know, my dad, I was like, I want to see it because I, I want to, you know, I want to be able to interact with them a little bit, you know? Because um, I know they're going to watch it and I need to see it too, you know? And we need to sit down and watch this. And my dad was cool with it. A lot of people wanted it. It was PG. Back then, you know, motherfucker, it was all per parental guidance was a big shit, man. They ain't let, you know, shit. I don't know many white kids my age that watched it during that time, you know, I mean, the, the series, you know, at, when it first came out. And all my black friends did. Of course they did, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course it was their plight, you know? But uh, I remember Toby or, or Kuta, right? Kuta KJ. And I remember him getting beat in the back, man, and they kept telling him to say Toby. Toby, you know, say Toby, and I remember my mom, and I had tears in my eyes, and my mom, my mom was like, you know, she's like, why won't he just say Toby, just say it, and she called my dad's name, Bruce, you know, Bruce, but well, that's what my mom was in my life, but fuck that, uh, fuck her now, but anyway, she turned out to be a fucking, that's another story, but anyway, then, back then, you know, she was a decent mom, she said, um, Bruce, why won't he just say it, just say Toby, just say Toby, and, you know, and, I, and I'm looking at it, and something touched my spirit. I'm sitting there, and I'm looking at him, and I'm looking at mom. And I looked at my mom, and I said, Mom, he ain't going to say Toby because that's not his god dang name. It's not his god dang name. His name is not Toby. His name is Kuta, man. Kuta Kinsey. It's not his fucking name. 
That's why he's not going to say it. Because it's not his name. It's not who he is, man. And that shit, that just shit hit my spirit, right? And, um, you know, and then watching it with my dad and talking with my dad. And my dad was like, he never tried to, 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 to like, whitewash it, paint it easier. Man, he, he was raw. And, uh, and, you know, and I was seven years old. And, um, I mean, I remember, um, another part, man, got, got me, you know, or, uh, you know, he ran so many times and they did things to him, cut his foot and everything. But you know the funny thing, man, the one thing you can't do, his daughter learned how to read, right? His daughter learned how to read. And as soon as she, he, she learned how to read or they called it, they called it reading, man, she was gone. She was gone that goddamn quick, man. He got rid of that little girl that goddamn quick, man. Kuda daughter, right? That was crazy, man. That 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 out of all the running that that Kuda Kinte bugs all over my head. <laughs> uh, Kuda Kinte did, 